Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we worked with the POS API. We display all the POS here. In this video I'm going to show you for the single POS. It's very easy. And also here we display the tags. But uh, I'm going to show you how to work with the eager loading so to prevent from the query N1 problems. So to do that, first let's work with the tags. And if we go inside the app, HTTP resources, post resource. Right now we say tags, tag resource collection, these tags. So for every post, we make a get request for tags. Instead of that, I'm going to say this when loaded and add the tags relation. Now, if I save like this and go here, it's not going to work. Yeah, here we don't have now tags. But because in the controller, so if I go in the controllers, post API controller, we just say here post all. But we have learned we need to say post with tags for eager loading and say get now. And if I save and come here, make a get request and now we have tags. Okay, and here in the tags we can see now we have the ID, name and created that and also, and we can customize this, but first let's work now with a single post. To do that, let's go in the resources, uh, sorry, roads first, roads, API road, and we have created this road for the single post. So when we navigate in the slash post slash and the ID of the post, and uh, let's also give it the name here. I'm going to give it the name to be api.post.show. Save and let's go in the post API controller and create this show method. So here I'm going to create a new method. So function with name show. Here now we need the ID. And let's say dollar sign post is going to be. And also here I'm going to work with eager loading. So I'm going to say post with tags, find or fail that ID, so the last sign ID. And now let's return a new instance of uh, the post resource. So return new post resource and add the post because here we're just working with one post. Now, if we navigate in the API slash post slash two, because it's one, we don't have that, make a get request and we have this post with tags. Here we have tags. So post ID two, let's see the post ID three, make a get request. And here also we have the secret and secret value here, but also here we can see we have tags. Now let's work with uh, tags. First, we need to go in the API PHP and I'm going to copy this one and duplicate it down there and work with tags. I'm going to say tags here and also tags. And I'm going to use this post API controller. It's better to create another controller, but I'm going to work with that and say, tag index here and tag show here. Okay, here also API tags show. Save this one. Now in the post API controller, we need to create the tag index and tag show. So let's create a function tag index. And here we need to get all the tags. And I'm going to say tag 
all and let's return the tag resource collection and add the tags dollar sign tags now if i save and let's go here and navigate in the api tags make a get request and now here we have the id name create a tag and update a tag let's go and modify the tag resource so instead of just returning the parent array i'm going to say I'm going to display the ID and the name. So the last sign ID uh, is going to be this ID and also name is going to be the last sign of this name. If I save and come here, make a get request, we have the ID and the name. Let's also add the Created to be string and dollar sign this created at David make a get request and yeah we have this created at here string now uh if I go in the API, because we have this name, we can add also the URL here. So let's say URL and use that road name, road API tags show and add dollar sign this ID. Save the same thing we can do for in the post resource so if i make a get request now we have also the url down there and let's do the same thing in the post resource let's say here url and say road api post show and add this id here And if we navigate slash post, we have also the URL in the post. And in the tags, also we have the URL here. Now, what if I want, so if I go in the tags and make a get request, also here I want all the posts this tag has. So if I go here and in the tag resource i'm going to do the same thing we have done here so add the tax relation here we need to add the post relation so let's say post and post resource collection and let's say now this We need to say this uh, post here. If I save this and go now in the tags, make a get request, we can see we have this post here. Okay, that's good. But if I do the same thing for the post resource, so instead we say when loaded, just saying these tags and save. If I make a get request now, it's going to load because this uh, post resource is going to get all the tags this post has. And when we go to the tag resource also, it's going to get all the posts this tag has and it's going to take, it's going to break. Here we have four or two. For that, we use the 
eager loading so here we say collection and add dollar sign this when loaded the post relation save the same thing here in the post when loaded tags and now make a get request right now we don't have posts because in the post api controller in the tag index we just say in tag tag all we need to say tag when or oh, with sorry with posts and say get now if i save and come here of course it's going to work so here we have post now and it's not going to break the same thing if we go in the post we have tags okay now the last thing is to work with a single tag let's create that function tag show here we need the id and the same thing first let's get the tag to be tag with post and say find or fail that id and return now the new instance for the tag resource add the tag here save it and let's go and refresh go to the tags slash id3 make a get request and now we have the id the name created at the url and also the post and the post has the post id title and published and here you can see now the uh, here we are in the tags we have the credentials and the post has only the post id title published and url here now we don't have the tags for that we use when loaded okay because if we have also tags here it's going to break so that's it about this video friends i hope you understand and hope you like the video and if you like a content like this like videos like the subscribe my channel and see you in the next one all the best